So now we'll discuss about the third point of the abstraction. That is the property by virtue of which only the essential details are displayed to the end user. What this point means? Let's understand this point with some example. So whenever you are driving a car, you handle a steering wheel. But what is happening behind the scene? What are the different components involved which are managing your tires to redirect in certain direction? That is none of your business as a user. Means as a user, you will look at the steering wheel as an input where you will give some directions to the steering wheel and the steering wheel will decide what to do based on the input given to this particular steering wheel to move right or to move to the left direction. So similarly, the abstraction says that what is happening behind the scene is none of the concern of a user. User will actually understand the interface which is given to the user and it will communicate with this interface only. Say for example, in our application, we have created the save employee function. So the user will give the employee ID, the employee name and salary to the save employee function. What save employee function is doing inside the save employee function where whether it is storing the data into Oracle, whether it is storing the data into SQL server, whether it is dumping data into some other storage locations or on the cloud, that is not the concern for the user, the user will call the save employee function and pass the data and the data should get saved. That's it. And that is what the concept of abstraction and the point all point of this particular definition. So we have already created an employee class with three members and save employee and print employee functions. So what I'll do is I'll create the object of the employee class and this is the interaction of a user with your entity. So I have created an object of an employee class and while employee.save employee functions get called, I need to pass the employee ID, I need to pass the employee name and I need to pass the employee salary. I need not to worry about what save employee function is doing inside it. This is the inside implementation, internal implementation, internal logic, internal stuff is not useful for the user. User will look at the interface only. And similarly, we'll write employee dot print employee, which will print the employee information and console dot read key to pause the screen to see the output. Now, once you have written the code, you can run the code and you can see the output name is Raj and salary is 10,000. That is what we printed. So we have printed name is Raj and salary is 10,000. So as a user, I got the data, but as a user, I need not thought about what are the internal implementations inside this particular function. And that is what the particular definition is saying. Data abstraction is the property by virtue of which only the essential details are displayed to the user. Like save employee function and number of parameters. What is happening inside is not the part or concern of a user. And now abstraction or whenever we are working with the classes, there is a concept called as memory allocations and how the data is stored in a memory. We'll discuss it in our next video. Thanks.